Welcome to No Touch Throw. In today's video, we're going to show you a powerful but simple to use motivity build that will dominate in the early half of the game and excel in the second half of the game as well. We're going to showcase not one but two recommended weapons for this build so that you have as much variety and freedom to express your playstyle as possible. Now let's take a look at the stats so that you know what you need to level up to get this build going. Our Vitality is 30, our Vigor is 16, Capacity is 20, Motivity is 35, and Technique and Advance are all at base level. The only thing I'm going to change as I complete the game is I'm going to raise Vitality to 50 and Motivity to 50. I don't plan on changing anything else whatsoever with this build, so this is pretty close to complete at level 73. Now let's look at the two weapons that we feel are the best in class for a Motivity build. Let's take a look at the Big Pipe Wrench. Please notice that the head is the Big Pipe Wrench head and the handle is the Crap Police Baton Handle. It's important that that's the handle you use. Once you combine the two pieces, you will get a L1 triangle buff from the baton handle and a special three charge fable art from the wrench head. It's very powerful and can one shot almost every enemy in the game or come close to it. Please notice that the R1s leave much to be desired, so you may have to concentrate more on charged R2s and going for repulse to do damage when you don't have enough Fable Art up to do your Fable Art attacks. Once you start getting to the halfway point to the end game, we recommend you use the Holy Sword of the Arc because its moveset is just so much faster than the Big Wrench. The Holy Sword of the Arc hits uh, quite fast and hard. Let's uh, look at that real quick. These are your basic R1s. Here's your R2. And here is a fully charged R2, followed by another. You can get quite a bit of damage with these charge attacks. You can also do the exact same Fable Art as the Big Wrench. But as you can see, for nowhere near as much damage, so it's pretty risky to try this. Now let's take a look at the weapon's altered form, a halberd. Your R1s become horizontal and use up much less stamina than in the greatsword form. R2 is a thrust. This is excellent for spacing. And here are the fable arts when the weapon is in its halberd form. All in all, a very nice moveset. Now let's take a look at the rest of our gear. Your legion arm is whatever you prefer. I like to use the puppet string, but it's entirely up to you which one you use. And for our Ambulance, we have the Patient Amulet to reduce Stamina Recovery Speed, the Guardian Amulet, which increases HP, Stamina, and Legion, and finally the Life Amulet, which will give us just a little bit more health. Your defensive parts should be whatever you have that's the best gear you have up to this point in the game. For Grindstones, we recommend the Acid Grindstone, as well as the Electric Blitz Grindstone. This will handle almost any enemy in the game, we also recommend using the Flame Grindstone for areas with enemies weak to fire. This is the merchant that sells cranks and defensive parts. The only item we're needing from him right now is the Motivity Crank for our strength build. This increases scaling from B to A on both of our weapons. You can also get some of the more advanced grindstones and later gear from this merchant as you play the game. Now let's take a look at the P-Organ skills that we recommend for this build. First, you're going to want to concentrate on getting as many Fable Art slots as possible. You're also going to want to increase the amount of Pulse Cells you have so you can heal more often. You're also going to want to increase your Amulet slots from 2 to up to 4 later on in the game. After that, it's personal preference. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully this Motivity build will help you have a much easier time in your first visit to Crate. If you would, please be sure and hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you haven't already. We really appreciate that, and that helps us out a lot. Hope to see you next time.